วัสดีค่ะทุกคน I'm speaking in Thai สวัสดีค่ะทุกคน I'm speaking in Thai วันนี้ก็เป็นพอดคาสต์แรกนะที่จะทำมาแชร์ทุกคนฟังก็คอนเซปที่เราจะทำพอดคาสต์ที่คิดจะทำก็คือมาอยู่ที่เนี่ยได้รู้จักคนเยอะมากเลยโอ้ยโทษทีลมมันแรงได้รู้จักคนเยอะมากเลยแล้วแต่ละคนก็มีประสบการณ์ชีวิตที่ต่างกันมากก็เลยอยากจะเอาเวลาที่มีเนี่ยไปสัมภาษณ์เพื่อนๆที่รู้จักแล้วก็อยากให้เขาแชร์ประสบการณ์ชีวิตของเขาเผื่อว่าสิ่งที่เขารู้แล้วสิ่งที่เขาประสบมาในอดีตจนถึงที่เขามาประสบความสําเร็จในชีวิตถึงขั้นนี้อาจจะมีประโยชน์กับคนที่ทุกคนได้ฟังบ้างนะคะส่วนครั้งนี้ก็เป็นพอดคาสต์แรกก็เป็นเพื่อนสนิทคนหนึ่งของเราเลยแล้วก็อเมซิ่งมากนะที่ไม่เคยรู้รู้มาก่อนเลยว่าเพื่อนของเราเป็นนักเขียนที่ค่อนข้างดังมากในประเทศประเทศหนึ่งนะก็วันนี้เขาก็จะมาแชร์ประสบการณ์ถึงว่าทํายังไงถึงจะเป็นนักเขียนแล้วทำไงถึงจะทําให้คุณเป็นนักเขียนที่ประสบความสำเร็จแล้วมีคนอยากจะพิมพ์ผลงานของคุณเดี๋ยววันนี้เราจะได้มาคุยกับเขากันนะคะก็ไงก็ลองฟังดูแล้วก็ถ้ามีข้อติชมอะไรอยากจะรู้อะไรเพิ่มเติมหรือว่ามีข้อแนะนําอะไรก็บอกมาได้นะคะตอนนี้เราอยู่ที่ลอนดอนประเทศอังกฤษแล้วก็คนนี้คือเพื่อนของเราเอง Hi you see yourself โอเคเดี๋ยวเราจะมาคุยกับเขากันนะตอนนี้เราไปเบรกชมภาพสวยๆที่เซนต์เจมส์สพาร์คในลอนดอนกันดีกว่าอากาศดีมากค่ะวันนี้เป็นซัมเมอร์วันแรกของอังกฤษนะลองไปชมกันนะขอแนะนําแอนเดรียเพื่อนเรานิดนึงนะคะเพื่อนของแอนเดรียเพื่อนของเราคนนี้นะก็เป็นนักเขียนที่ประสบความสําเร็จมากมี you publish around 8,000 right you said in total I sold 8,000 yeah how many years so far it's been like 10 years no not yet let me count think like eleven I have I hold it okay I think like seven years eight years oh wow ค่ะเจ็ดปีเขาขายหนังสือมาได้แปดพันกว่าเล่มแล้วแล้วก็เขียนเป็นนักเขียนที่สำนักพิมพ์ที่สเปนก็ตามหาแล้วก็อยากจะให้เขาเป็นคนเขียนหนังสือให้นะก็ตอนนี้เขียนมา7 books เอ6 books 7 this September ย่ากำลังจะมีหนังสือออกมาใหม่ล่าสุดปีนี้2021 will be เจ็ดบุ๊กนะคะเจ็ดเล่มที่จะออกมาปีนี้นะก็สุดยอดมากเดี๋ยวเขาจะมาแชร์ประสบการณ์ให้ฟังเดี๋ยวจะส่งไมค์ให้แอนเดรียนะคะ Hi Andrea Hello I briefly introduced you in Thai but if you can help like introduce yeah. yourself again like who are you where you from and why are you here yeah. something like that briefly to the audience Okay Yeah Okay so I'm Andrea I'm originally from Spain, from the north. I'm 26 years old, and I've been writing since I was a teenager. And I got published when I was 19, and since then I have continued to write. And thankfully, I have continued to get published as well. That's really awesome, Andrea. 
you write really young from like 17. Okay. Yes, so, so how did it all start? Um, in my school, like elementary school, we had like a yearly contest where you had to write books in Galician. That's one of the regional languages of Spain. So to protect the language and keep it from dying, they encouraged kids to write short stories in that language. And that's when I started. And at that age, I was also like reading a lot, reading like Harry Potter, Narnia and those kinds of books. So I really like writing and really like reading and it started from there, I guess. That's so cool. Hey. Hey. So you talked about like you enter a competition yeah. in such a young age at 17 years old, in your, old in your high school. Yeah. So what happened after that? Did you win? Did you win? I win for my school and because I thought I saw that I could win with that, with like competing against my classmates I decided to enter like more competitions that were like nationwide or region wide to see if I could win and I won some of those so from there I started to think of like challenge myself and like write like longer like a novel because before I just did like short stories so then I thought like what I read are novels, I usually don't read short stories, so why shouldn't I try to like write a long thing? Yeah. And you try to enter so many competitions and try to, to win a bigger prize, is it because you want to win the prize or what, what makes you, you, you want to enter it? Um, I think it's, for me, I think it's fun to have a challenge, like when I have to do a project, I prefer to do it thinking that I might win something or having that extra motivation is very hard for me to like start a project if I don't have a motivation to do it. And also, I think because I love sports, I love competition, I'm a competitive person. Not in a bad way, I just really enjoy like challenging myself and like growing. So for me, doing competitions was very fun and like a nice way to learn like in the beginning I didn't expect to win anything because I was like a newie and I was learning and as I started to like participate in more and win some of them I thought like maybe from here I can like win bigger competitions that's really interesting I would I would want to ask you more about like how did you like get better in writing did you have any help or how did you progress and develop your writing to, to win that competition but before coming back to that yeah. question can you like tell us a bit more what happened after the first one you enter more and what happened after that so I enter more and then I found like communities of like young writers like me on the internet so when I was a teenager this was maybe 2010 2011 we didn't have such a strong social media but we had like forums and websites so yeah so I found more teenagers like me because before I thought that I was the weird one none of my friends liked writing they thought that it was like homework and they didn't understand that for me it was fun so I saw that there were more teenagers like me and we shared the links to competitions so we all competed together and it was like a fun challenge with friends to have it to do it with friends yeah it makes a difference yeah, because at some point we didn't even care if we won. Like we were as happy if we win as we were if our friend wins. Yeah. So it, I think because I had so many friends, like I made new online friends who were into that. Mm. I got motivated to keep doing it and not care so much if I win or not. Yeah. And in the end, you actually won. Yeah. yeah. So when I was 19, I won the first prize in a competition called Neo and the prize was to publish the novel that you submitted yeah. so that was like my dream since i was a young child to become an author and to, yeah to be a author yeah is different from winning a competition right? yeah that's so cool yeah so i started to notice that there were competitions for young writers when i was that age like 17 or so and I participated in a couple of them and never won until I won this one at 19. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that was like a dream come true and like really exciting. Yeah, I heard that Neo was quite a well-known like competition and yeah. well-known like publisher house in, in Spain. 
Yeah. It was a really big successful for, for you at that age. Yeah, it was very crazy because beforehand, like I'm a private person, I wasn't like a blogger or like well known in social media and I never like published anything before, like I was only 19, I was in university yeah. and I came from like being a private person who didn't even have like Twitter or Instagram to like a huge success and I had like national media like calling wow. me and like national media. Yeah. I wow. went on TV, like national TV a couple oh, wow. of times. It was a bit scary but it was very very exciting. Wow. Yeah, so they published the book that I wrote for the competition and back then I didn't know anything about the publishing industry which I think was a good thing because I didn't have any anxieties. Yeah, so I just yeah. Mind. So I just wrote another novel and I sent it to my editor because I didn't know that you could get rejected like by your own editors and thankfully my editor really liked it and the first book was a really huge success what, in what Spain. Again. Yeah, so the first book in Spanish is called Corazón de Mariposa. Okay, we, I will put the, the book cover here somewhere yeah. for you guys. It's a really cute cover. So it's translated in English as... Um, the Butterfly's Heart. The Butterfly's Heart. And you told me it's really like well like received book yeah. from, from the, the, the audience. Yeah. It's sold really well, right? Yeah, so far it's still the best-selling book that I have written. Wow. And from this book you've gained so many followers yeah. and fans. So my publisher actually, before the prize was announced, they told me, oh, you should have social media. So I made a Twitter account and when I started I had very little followers because it was just like my friends from uni and my yeah. friends from like the writing forums and then like a lot of people started following me and a couple of years after I did Instagram as well but I think I waited about two or three years after I got published because like naturally um, now I really enjoy social media and I like even my office job has to do a little bit with social media but I think if I didn't have this career path, I would never have gotten into it. And because I'm such a private person, that that's, that's it. In, it's interesting, though. I would want to know, like, since from that first book to now, you're about to publish the, your seventh book. Yeah. How does social media media help you to be an author and to be a published author and to engage with your audience? Yeah. How does it help or does it not help at all? I think it helped me a lot to like have a platform and because I started writing so young and for young people like my readers are kind of like my same age or a little bit younger but there's not a big age gap so they write to me on Twitter or on Instagram and like I can reply to them and like we have we can have really genuine interactions that before social media you could only meet authors if you went to like a book signing or like a book fair and now like yeah so now you can like just tweet to them, oh, I read your book. And like for, uh, to me as an author, it's also something really cool because I guess before you only had reviews like on newspapers and magazines. Mm -hmm. And now like if a reader really liked my book, they can like upload a picture or like send me a private message. Yeah, and that's, you. yeah, that's so motivating. Like as a person who needs a lot of motivation to get to work, yeah. that's very helpful and that makes me want to continue that's writing. Being an author, it's kind of lonely job, right? Yeah. You don't, 